Over the years, numerous Boeing 747 aircraft have achieved legendary status in the aviation world. Whether serving as flagships for renowned airlines or transporting influential figures, the 747 is widely recognized as one of the most iconic aircraft in history due to its prominent status in the skies. While the most famous 747s typically gain recognition based on their passengers and destinations, there have been a few airframes that have garnered fame for their unconventional usage, setting them apart even further. This is the story of one such aircraft, the Sophia 747. NASA and the German Aerospace Center developed the aircraft, dubbed the Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, or SOFIA for short. The type was designed as a mobile space and atmospheric observatory, replacing NASA's previous observatory, a Lockheed C-141 Starlifter. Its mobility allowed it to fly to regions without observatories, particularly over the Pacific Ocean, from its bases in Palmdale, California, and Christchurch, New Zealand. Flying over the open ocean provided scientists with an opportunity to observe space without atmospheric interference or light pollution. Additionally, flying at its cruising altitude of 43,000 feet allowed for clear observations akin to being in space, making the Flying Observatory an indispensable asset to NASA. The SOFIA 747 was developed as a replacement for NASA's previous observatory, a C-141 Starlifter. NASA has a history of using aircraft for observations, starting with a Convair 990 used to observe Venus in 1965. A Learjet with a 12-inch infrared radiation optical lens was used to observe the stratosphere from 1969 to the mid-70s. However, the small size of the aircraft and telescope had limitations in terms of range, endurance, and image resolution. In 1974, the Kuiper Airborne Observatory was introduced, featuring a 36-inch telescope built into the back of a Lockheed C-141 Starlifter. This improved NASA's ability to stay in the air for longer periods and carry more equipment and scientists. The Kuiper Observatory made significant discoveries, including confirming Pluto's atmosphere and the presence of water in comets. The idea of mounting a telescope on a 747 size aircraft was proposed in 1984, but it wasn't until 1996 that NASA and the German Aerospace Center agreed to build and operate such an aircraft. The chosen aircraft was a modified Boeing 747 SP sourced from United Airlines, registered as N145UA. The airplane, christened Clipper Lindbergh after the famous American aviator, first flew with Pan American Airways in 1977 as N536PA before joining United Airlines fleet in 1986 until its retirement in 1995. In 1997, NASA acquired the aircraft to build the new Airborne Observatory. Officially named Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, SOFIA was envisioned to be significantly more powerful than previous telescopes. It was a modular telescope that could be refitted for different missions. The telescope, with a diameter of 2.5 meters, was transported from France to Texas in 2002 and assembled onto the aircraft. Extensive modifications were made to the aircraft, including a new glass cockpit, a research lab over the wings, a strengthened main deck, and an enlarged hump behind the wings to house the telescope. Unlike previous observatories, SOFIA's telescope was fully exposed to the air without a built-in window. A rotating door and a new rear pressure bulkhead were installed to protect the telescope and maintain cabin pressurization. The telescope also had a stabilization system to compensate for high winds and turbulence during observations. Despite the modifications, the aircraft's handling performance remained largely unaffected, and pilots noticed little difference between flying SOFIA and a regular 747. SOFIA commenced its operations in 2010 and became fully operational by 2014. For 12 years, it completed 291 flights before retiring in 2022. Throughout its tenure, SOFIA made numerous groundbreaking discoveries that would have been challenging, if not impossible, to achieve from ground observatories. For instance, it confirmed the existence of the hypothesized molecule helium hydride, believed to be the first molecule to exist in the early universe. Additionally, SOFIA's exceptional mobility enabled it to capture transient events, 
such as the observations of the Pluto oculations in 2011 and 2015. These observations provided crucial insights into Pluto's atmospheric structure and composition, ultimately contributing to the success of the New Horizons probe mission to Pluto. However, despite its remarkable achievements, SOFIA faced its own set of challenges, particularly related to cost and operational limitations. While it was the most economical option compared to rocket launches, the aircraft's regular maintenance and aging technology led to increased costs and maintenance periods. This resulted in missed opportunities for important events due to the unavailability of the aircraft for missions. Additionally, the program's annual budget of around $85 million was largely allocated to keeping the aircraft on the ground rather than conducting observations. In comparison, space telescopes like Hubble and the newer James Webb Telescope were arguably more cost-effective per mission hour and could be operated for longer durations. SOFIA's retirement in September 2022 was inevitable due to its aging airframe and outdated technology, making it more costly to fly. With the emergence of newer and more powerful telescopes such as the James Webb Telescope, SOFIA became redundant. SOFIA's final mission occurred overnight on September 28th through 29, 2022, departing from its base in Palmdale, California with the call sign NASA 747. The routine mission lasted just under eight hours before the aircraft returned to Palmdale. Subsequently, on the morning of the 29th, it was flown to the Pima Airspace and Museum in Tucson, Arizona, where the decommissioning process took place. This process involved removing the telescope from its mounting at the back. The telescope was then transported to Germany for public display. As for the aircraft itself, it is currently stationed at Pima and is accessible to the public on select days of the year, marking a somewhat understated conclusion to the legacy of such an iconic aircraft. SOFIA's impact and significance may have been overshadowed by other observatories and telescopes, but during its operational years, SOFIA was arguably one of the most accessible platforms for scientific exploration. Public outreach was always a key component of SOFIA's mission. It actively engaged with teachers and educators, inviting them on board to experience the realities of space exploration. These educators would then share their experiences and knowledge with their students, aiming to inspire the next generation of explorers. Additionally, NASA's outreach program aimed to reach individuals who may not have had extensive exposure to scientific learning, broadening the accessibility of space exploration and astronomy. SOFIA may not have been the largest or most advanced telescope in the world, but it served as a powerful symbol of what can be achieved with the right minds and motivation. It was a remarkable feat of engineering, an aircraft purposefully designed for a unique mission that enhanced our understanding of our planet and the vast universe we inhabit. SOFIA demonstrated that anything is possible when we channel our efforts and intellect toward a common goal. Though its flying days are over, it has secured a lasting place in history as one of the most remarkable observatories, providing invaluable insights as one of the world's greatest celestial observers.